What's up everybody? It is a Tuesday morning, back in my garage. Um, pretty quiet in here. Kevin's, Kevin's not here, he had to work today. Um, I am off for the day, so I'm working this morning to try and get everything buttoned up because we are headed back tonight to Goods Raceway in Deerfield for another one of their test and tune nights. So every once in a while, um, they have these open practice uh, test and tune nights where you can go, the track's open from four to eight. Uh, you can go out, take five or six laps at a time, as many times as you want. Uh, it's a really cool deal that they have. And they were nice enough to let us come out the first time and put some laps on our, on our sprint car setup. And uh, we got a hold of them when we saw they were having another test and tune tonight. And uh, they said, yeah, bring it back up and, and uh, take a couple more laps. So we definitely wanted to take advantage of that opportunity and just put a little bit more time on the wing and play around with a couple things. And plus, just have more fun with it. We had so much fun the first time. Just want to go back out and uh, and turn some more laps on it. So we had quite a bit of work to do to it, uh, to this car, because I raced this car at the Harrison County Fair for their short course night. And if you watch that video, then you'll know that I rolled it over in freaking hot laps. So we had a little bit of cosmetic work to do to it, but we also had a lot of suspension stuff to switch back over. Um, of course, we didn't run the nose wing or the big wing uh, for that short course race. All the brackets for the wing and stuff had to be put back on and all that stuff. So if you watch the first episode that we went to Goods Raceway with the sprint car, then you'll know that Kevin and I just absolutely destroyed the right side tires that were on this car. Um, the, the tires that we had were UTV, Hoosier tire, soft compound. They were blistered up whenever we bought them. We bought them from, from some friends of ours. Um, they made us a killer deal on those tires, and, and they were already mounted on these ITP bead locks. So they made us a killer deal, but they were, they were used tires, and they were blistered up a little bit, and we didn't think they were going to last all that long anyways. But that's not why we bought them. We bought them just to get our hands on them, uh, play around with them, because Kevin and I were, were unfamiliar with the Hoosier uh, tire as far as short course goes. So we just wanted to get a set in our hands and play around with them a little bit. So... Since we destroyed those right side tires so bad, we knew if we were going back to goods, we had to buy two brand new Hoosiers uh, for the right side. The left sides weren't all that bad. So we picked up two brand new Hoosiers for the left side. And knowing that I had a bunch of work to do to the car, Kevin being the good old buddy that he is, come down and picked up these, these tires and took, took them up to his place. And he's like, let me dismount them for you and I'll put the new ones on. That way you don't have to mess with it. You got a lot of other stuff to do. So thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. But anyways, when Kevin came down to pick the tires up, uh, we got into a pretty good conversation. And even though Kevin's not here, we still decided that this would be a, a cool time to uh, take a minute and make a short video, a lot shorter than what you guys are probably used to seeing um, on our channel. But uh, still, it, it's, it's going to be a good one. We're going to do something that we've never done before. I'll get to it in just one, one second. So this tire that's on our stand right now is a tire that I've, I've finished grooving. Um, so I'm done with this tire. You can see uh, the groove pattern that's in it. But take a look at this Hoosier that's not been touched yet. So this is what the tire looks like from Hoosier whenever you get it. Uh, this is untouched. We haven't done anything to this yet. No grooving, no siping, no nothing like that. So when Kevin picked it up, he said, well, which way do you want me to mount these tires? Or does it matter which way I mount these tires? So we opened up a tire, started looking at it. Didn't take us long to realize it doesn't matter which way they're mounted. They're the same on both sides. It doesn't matter. It only gets a sense of direction to it and when you start to put your grooving pattern in them. So come back and look at this tire that I've already grooved. You can see, um, knowing what we know about circle track racing, and Kevin and I both have just a little bit of dirt modified experience, so we've, we've done our fair share of prepping circle track tires. Um, got the outside of the tire here, and we grooved so that we left these points facing the outside of the car because that'll be we're going to be turning left, and that's how you would traditionally see um, you know, a dirt modified or, or a circle track car, and that's also how we have the left sides pointed. So both of these points um, face the right side of the car. So after we figured out which way we were going to groove them for tonight for a circle track, um, we got to talking about how would we mount and how would we groove these tires for short course. So when I said earlier that we were going to do something that we've never done before, um, that is we're going to ask what you guys think. Uh, we want to hear what your opinion is because we really aren't 100% sure and we've done some garage videos in the past and we've done some informational videos um, but this time uh, we're really not 100% sure so we thought this would be a really cool opportunity uh, to ask you guys what what you think and what, what your opinion is. How do you mount and groove these tires uh, for short course because 
we're either going to have one of two things. We're either going to have these points both facing outside of the car on the left and right side, or we're going to have these points facing the inside of the car on both sides of the car. So um, that's where you guys come into play. What do you guys think is the right way? What do you think is the wrong way? Uh, what's your opinion on what would work the best? We would love to hear from you. Uh, like this video. Comment on it. Let us know what you think about it. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And we'll see you guys later tonight at Goods Raceway for round two with the Sprint Car.